Hello everyone and happy holidays to you as well. But well, we're going to be talking about The View. And one of its co-hosts, uh, Joy Behar, or Bahar, uh, that lady, well no it's not her. She's not filmed in this particular one, this picture. But y'all know her. Uh, her, Joy uh, Behar. She kind of looked like Beth Midler uh, to me. But anyway, I always loved her on the show. Very well spoken. Uh, I think she was a, a journalist, I want to say, or a writer to some degree. But she's a correspondent over there on The View. Uh, that show mostly talk about humanitarian type work, uh, political issues in, that affects our country as a whole. Um, she does some of the feel-good type of commentary as well. But all of them are really like correspondents where they focus on news that is happening out there today whether whether it's talking about racism or uh, um, discrimination or uh, crime uh against humanity terrorism all that kind of stuff they they whatever's focusing on the news and making headlines they are talking about it over there on their platform but thank you for coming to Dale Chanel's 48 Square. in case you forgot where you were all righty and make sure to share my videos guys share 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 and like them as well okay and get your laugh on okay but joy called herself on one of the tapings of the view that you should take this time because life is short and people need to be enjoying their family members and uh, close friends and all that kind of stuff. But uh, mostly their family members and uh, family members they adopted in. You know, sometimes you don't have that biological family unit, but you have people that you would see yourself as their sister, their brother, you know, their aunt, their auntie or whatever. Uh, and you make them a part of your family. But honey, baby joy called herself and uh whoopi was somewhat in agreement but she said nah i think you should wait to the very end <laughs> like, okay whoopi is black and she know how religion and politics and anything very sensitive should not be coming out not at the black folks table okay because we come now to talk trash to see our beloved ones to hug on them make memories with them sit down uh have good conversation about in and everything we feel comfortable with talking with our family members about and the food got to be banging okay when i say banging i'm talking about banging and you know black folk we get into eating socializing we, we be want to take a nap such as what i did today had a very good time with my family uh, it was a small setting of course less than 10 because uh, we're definitely conscious over here in our household about COVID restrictions and stuff of that nature and um we had a good time good food and basically we were just eating our hearts out and sleeping because i did i was up at nine this morning cooking i had an early breakfast started right into cooking dinner my mom did her little thing, me and my daughter's, you know, banging it out in there. And if you watch one of my videos prior to this video, you would have known the list of foods we had partaken in. So if you want to know what I ate, honey, just go back and watch my videos. Okay, but I think it's the one video that I did uh, for Sunday. No, Saturday, which would have been the 25th. No, 26th. Okay. Or maybe it's Friday. Hell, I don't know. You see, you see, I am. I got up too early this morning and was cooking my ass off. But it just is what it is. Okay. Don't really feel like going through the menu right now. But honey, baby, at least I can say in my family, I ain't gonna generalize and say all black families go through this because I'm sure the white must go through it. The Asians, the in uh Native Americans, Eskimos, the Italians, all of us as a human. As human nature, uh, we have things we just don't want to talk about, especially when we got everybody together, unless it's a truly happy, momentous occasion, like somebody's getting married, somebody's pregnant, uh, somebody's moving away, but it's a good opportunity for them, uh, you know, something like that. Other than you trying to come out and tell your parents Oh, uh, you need to borrow money. Or you're telling your family members, okay. You need to borrow money. 
you're coming out because of your sexuality um uh, maybe you're getting a divorce and they don't want you to get divorced so they think it was high time you got a divorce. Just very sensitive issues. You don't want to bring it to the table at my house until you, we are fully fed. You know what I'm saying? Because the one thing we don't want is nervous stomachs and then you ain't even got into the main course of the meal and somebody don't upset you about talking about your religion that you in and you in the wrong religion or you dating the wrong person and or, or or you gay or you a lesbian and you know half the time in my family if we was at a family reunion we had everybody clanned out under one umbrella they were like hell you should have known that did you, did you not watch them when they was a child did, did you not watch them when they was teenagers and they young adulthood Gee, you, you 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 should know about the wall okay you should know how to walk and how they talk how they switch and all that kind of stuff or how she dressing up in men's clothes and trying to strap her bra her uh, breast down you should have known that you know you lucia told you that about that boss told you about that now, you, Gertrude, you know you were sitting over there and you heard, you know, that's how our conversation would be going. <laughs> that was family child. Or they going to pray, you know, the gayness out of them, the lesbian out of them. It's the devil. No, honey, we don't have none of them kind of talks. And we get into the intimate setting where we're just partaking up our intimate, you know, um, what do you call it? Um, it's the immediate family, yes, yeah, the immediate family settings, and we're branching out to our first cousins and stuff like that. When you get in that type of of, of reunion, or not a reunion, but uh, just um, you know, family coming together and whatnot on a smaller scale instead of the big scale, which is the reunions that happen in the summertime and whatnot. But when you just you know partaking of the normal. A uh, routine of you inviting your first cousins and your aunts and uncles and or you and your immediate family and you know anybody that married into the family or whatnot you you had that type of setting of a holiday festive uh gathering child mm -mm, you don't want to discuss politics especially with the past presidents we've had Woo! You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to talk about the senior citizens not getting what they were supposed to be getting. You don't want to talk about, you know, these uh, women out here, you know, having all these babies just to uh, capitalize on all these other benefits they're giving to, you know, people that have children. And you definitely don't want to talk about sexuality. No, not until the main courts have been, you know. Uh, displayed and partaked of you know this is something like like whoopi said no you need to have that conversation going out the door when everybody don't say okay uh you know we, when we're gonna do this next year they finished playing the games they were playing or looking at the uh sports you know the men were you know gathered in what room because child fights be breaking out but too much people drinking alcohol and then you gonna say they ain't pay this bill when they supposed to have to pay that bill or they ain't no good this that and the third you talking about uh so and so said he gay well, i found out he was gay and it, girl no 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 because then the, shoot the guns my <laughs> And then, first be, you know, hollering, calling the Lord, saying the devil don't walk in the room, and da 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 No, child, you don't want that in my, my family, because, boo, they deep. And I be like, I be sitting up there mad, because I'm sitting up there trying to finish my plate and whatnot, because that good food don't come out but once, you know, or twice or three times in a year, which was Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and let me see, it's another holiday, 4th of July. You know what I'm saying? All them good foods don't come out to them times. And then you're going to wait till this one celebrated holiday that you know everybody that can cook bringing their best dishes and you're gonna start some foolishness some shit like that like uh uh cause half the time you you know some stuff you don't know about because you know it's kind of kept until you get to the reunion somebody don't have too much to drink and then they you know get in their feelings and they start talking about folks especially if you don't loan somebody some money and they ain't paid you back expeditiously <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like firecrackers over here okay but i'm like mm -mm, you got to know i gotta you know i got um uh, 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 maintaining my little ulcer i have and uh, uh, that's not a good thing 
I don't know how it is at child house around the holidays and, and things of that nature come up like politics or uh, how the world is treating, you know, its individuals, how where humanity is going to and, and what can we do and what we're not doing. And then you're going to throw in a uh, mixture. Somebody coming out. <laughs> Girl. Ooh, that's a big recipe for whew, another set of um, what do you call it? Uh, outrageousness that's going to happen and you know you once probably was feeling good in the middle part of the day towards the end but you're going to be feeling pretty bad about time that all that shit come out and you're going to be like well, damn they just messed up my mo- my mood my energy and I got to go and I got to think about this thing and why would they do such a thing like that no they embarrass me girl that's what it would be like okay that's what it would be like at my household but anyway going back and I can say we do have a mixture of lesbians and, 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 and gay men in our family. And they don't been through the ring and this, that, and the third. But at the end of the day, they are still loved on. They are still loved on. They are still loved on. Okay. But anyway, going to the article, the rap brought it out. Uh, Andy Ortez was his uh, story that he graced with us from his company he works for. Uh, that brought out the story. He titled it "The View Host Joy Bihar." A uh, Bihar suggests everyone should come out to their families this Thanksgiving. See what happens, okay? When it comes to Thanksgiving dinner conversation topics, the View Host Joy B definitely thinks politics and religion should be on the table. Now, what do y'all think about that? Do y'all discuss that when y'all with y'all families, or do y'all discuss pivotal moments that's happening in your lives, okay? That everybody can partake and digest of it. Or, you know, are you having conversations about religion? Are you having uh, mad conversations about uh, politics? Yeah, the two don't fit in my family when it's good, when we're trying to eat. that You ain't discussing that right then and there. We politely turn the station. <laughs> we change the conversation. But going back to the article, and while we're at it, uh, Joy also thinks everyone who needs to, who needs to, should use this Thanksgiving as the moment to come out to their families. Now, what made her bring this out as a topic of discussion? I have no idea. Maybe something is going on in her family. She's giving them the okay to express this is the time to do it. You know, you, the the people that you looked up to and you felt difficulties of trying to express your feelings of what you are and how you want to live your life and you want to be happy. You want everybody to be happy for you. This is the time to do it. I'm like, Joy, are you telling something? Are you telling us something about somebody in your family? But anyway. Going back to the article, it said uh, during Wednesday's episode, the women got into discussion on if politics should be brought into conversation during dinner. And if so, how it should be approached. Moderator Whoopi Goldberg joked that it should happen right at the very end. Say your piece and then walk out the door. But Joy argued it should be more open. I'm like, Joy, you got two different cultures going on. <laughs> I know you try to be down with the black folks and try to understand us, but I think Joy Jewish. So she kind of has somewhat of an idea, but girl, she don't know how the black folk really get down. They don't really want to hear all that. They want to be getting drunk, be feeling good with the weed, and, and, and partaking of any other drugs they feel they need to be doing at the time. You know, I'm just keeping it real. You know, some of us get into alcohol, wine, whatever, and, and feel good, and you got the good food, and you got the good conversation. We ain't got time for all that unnecessary stuff. But anyway, we pick and choose who we want to tell what it is, and then they open their mouths and tell the rest of the family, and then that's how it gets to going. Okay, and some feelings may be hurt, and some people may want to keep it, you know, um, where they got swept under the rug or whatnot, but it's just here what it is, okay? It's nothing new under the sun. But going back to the article, I agree with Whoopi when she said, uh-uh, we're going to take that to go. <laughs> we're going to take that news to go. On full, on fair, I loved everybody at this uh, dinner. Everything was good, but now I'm finna get the hell on because I ain't finna be bothered with this mess. But I'm gonna call around to my first cousins and see what actually went down. You know, I'm gonna get the tea. I mean, I'll be a part of the tea. I ain't got time to stop folks from fighting around here, especially when I feel good and I'm I, I'm, I'm well fed. I ain't got time for all that. But anyway, uh, going back to the article, it says I like to talk politics. Ex- that thanksgiving we know joy because you're very political on the show and your voice is heard 
Uh, I do, and I'm interested in the subject. Um, Joy noted, prompting fake surprises from co-host Sarah Haynes. They always say, don't talk politics or religion. What's more important than those? Those are interesting topics. What are you going to ask grandma? Is she still ovulating? After Whoopi noted that some grandmothers in the world might actually still be ovulating. Joy took her dinner advice one step further. And may I suggest, I like to suggest that everyone or everybody out there come out to your family. This is Thanksgiving. She said, just come out, see what happens. I said, Joy, that's just like giving somebody a loaded gun and go after the person that's been giving them too much drama. And they finna sell to that shit. Like the Wild Wild West. No, Joy, we don't do that. We don't do that, girl. We need our time. We need our place. And we need our perspectives and we probably need our bodyguards. Everything had to be planned out. It ain't like no spur of the moment. Not over here. Not over here in my black family. No, 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 no. Okay, but going back to what Joyce said. Um, the rest of the women seemed a bit stunned at the challenge. And yes, it would be a challenge for some uh, cultures, races, and some, you know, families. Um, with Whoopi asking Joy to clarify exactly what she meant by come out. And yes, she meant exactly as it sounded. All right, come out gay. If you're gay, come out, meaning be authentic self. Joy said, I'm old enough now. I know that life is short because it went by like that, she snaps. I say that you should be yourself. This is my philosophy in life. To that, the women unanimous, unanimously agreed, each reiterating that everyone should always feel comfortable to uh, be themselves fully. And that's true. That's true, Joy. And in the real, I mean, in a, a real setting or in a um, fictitious setting. But in the real world, some families just don't get down like that. They don't want another truth. They don't want you to be truthful. Uh, not as a, a, a whole. That has to become. That has to come within that person. You know what I'm saying? If they want to open up, tell their truth. Go, go at it. You know what I'm saying? And and let the chips fall where they may. You know, this is like a loaded. Uh, open-ended question scenario you'll be getting yourself into depending on your family dynamics if they are strict bible belt wearing talking living people why would you want to upset everybody else's um day when you know that's gonna be a, a big argument that's gonna lead in a lot of frustration it might tear the family apart just because you want to tell everybody that something your family may already know just by your demeanor, the people you've been hanging around, how you get down versus how you were raised, how you were brought up. You know, your environment may have changed, your lifestyle may have changed, your clothes. Ain't nobody stupid in the family now. They may not want to come to you and address it out of respect or just out of respect for themselves that they just don't want to know. They don't want it loudly told that what they've been thinking and what they've been believing is actually true. But I mean, if it's going to make you feel better then i would say go in a uh, uh, go and tell who you really respected and admired and you loved and you just want them to know from your mouth to their ears go handle it like that but to just completely make a blank statement get on your uh bullhorn or your microphone thinking you having karaoke with your family and announce it that way ah uh, that's not i wouldn't think that would be the right move but to each his own but i just thought it was an interesting dialogue to try to have with my youtube family over here to see what y'all think about that would y'all family be uh, opposed to talking about politics and religion and your sexuality is that something that you would actually partake of during the holiday season when you're trying to get fed <laughs> You ain't trying to get mind fed. You're trying to get body fed. And, and, and just reminisce on how things used to be when you were a kid growing up. Those type of things. Or do you want to come in having a heavy conversation about politics, religion, and somebody's sexuality in your family? Woo, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's something you should go and pray about, y'all. But that's just my thoughts. That's, that's my thoughts. And that's with the thoughts, too, you know. 
girl it, that's heavy that's deep that's heavy and that's traumatic for some families but i mean if you feel like you got to come out and tell folks tell the folks that you feel you needed to tell that's just my philosophy because but pretty much if you changed enough from where you once was looking and doing a certain thing and now you way out there you know wearing makeup well say if you was uh, a guy that was gay but was uh leaning to the side of feminality uh you start wearing lipstick and eyeliner and you start twitching and, and and you know having a more girly uh talk woman's talk than a, a burly man uh kind of voice talk then child we already know <laughs> and if you paint your fingernails too Woo, child, we already know. Or if you drag, you dressing in drag, looking like a woman from head to toe, and we know you're a man, but you still have your man voice going on, your family know, honey. You don't told them in your behavior and your, um, what do you call it, your facial and, and dressing demeanor. We, we we already know. You don't you don't have to tell us. You already done told us in subtle ways, but. <laughs> I, I, I just don't it, I'm just speaking for my family that's not something we we partake in you know if you you know if you start doing all that you don't need to tell us we know we know we know and we're still gonna love on you you know some of us might be a little rude and, and think they need to bible beat you and, and all this kind of stuff but no we love you we love you we love you we love you but that's all I have for this story guys um if you like to leave comments in the comment section please do so have the dialogue all right and I I will see y'all next video. Take care.